Welcome everybody! On our previous builds we have a big problem. Battery life and range have always sucked. And we want to change that by uh, building this new plane. So, we have maximized wing area by making the wings very long. We have also made them a bit skinnier in the, uh, in the ends. So uh, we minimi minimize the vortexes that are generated. We have also a very thick airfoil which uh, will maximize lift. Uh, we need to order a couple of more things. We want to uh, extend, extend the battery by uh, putting 10,000 milliamp hours of battery on it. We have, er we have previously only used 5,000, so we need to order one more battery. And to cope with that weight, we need a more powerful motor and ESE as well. So we have, we have a to-do list, standard procedure for making an airplane. And we call the, the whole thing Project Bluebird. Because we are hoping for clear skies and low winds. Let's jump into the CAD. You see here the CAD model with the wing struts on each side. Also the T intersection which connects the two carbon fiber spars with, uh, with a little 3D printed clamp which you just screw together. And here you see with the wings on, the same CAD model and the motor mount. It's time to start foam cutting. While he is, pre while he is prepping the uh, hot wire cutter, I will measure out the foam so it's ready to cut. Uh, the wingspan would be 2 meters, so uh, I'll be, we will cut over here and then uh, one cut here as well uh, to get two uh, 1 meter pieces and then place the airpoints and uh, get the wing. First part then. So we have the wings uh, roughly completed here. We look quite nice. We see it. We made them quite small and uh, very long. For these wings that we just made, we realized it's a bit too small. Uh, so uh, we will need to make them again. So it's time to do this process all over again. So this wing uh, turned out quite really well. We had nice airfoil and uh, we did it all in one go. So, uh, except this line. So this was kind of the plan when I designed this. We glue this on here and then we can put the carbon fiber spar through this uh, square hole. So here we have uh, the wing that we just made. The other one will also get this uh, part over here. And uh, this freshly 3D printed part. So here we have the 3D printer in the two slots with a removable lid so you can access the interior. In the front here we have the lids for the camera to slide in. And on the side here, there we can put the lids with a spore. Some 
magnets here. So it just clicks into place. Some old uh, brushless mounting magnets. It's a bit uh, tricky to get it in place, but when it does, So uh, this fiberglass just arrived, box is here also, uh, and another thing is that we this this uh, aluminium spore here, uh, we were going to use it as uh, the main uh, attachment point between the fuselage and the stabilizer, but uh, we changed that to this more lighter and sleek carbon fiber rod. So we did some major modifications to the fuselage with the square body in the middle instead of the round body of course we lengthen it quite a bit uh, I think it was like probably seven centimeters we also made it obviously a bit wider so the battery had a better space we have printed the motor mounts in the tough PLA which fits perfectly on the carbon fiber spot we also have these uh, uh, wing attachments upgraded from the last one, which uh, obviously are too small. So these will be placed in the wing like this. Then the spar will be inserted in the square hole, which be, will be placed like that. So uh, the plan is for now to. Uh Sand it down a bit because uh, uh, I had a bit of a uh, problem when we were cutting this. Uh, and after that, it is time to fiberglass and uh, put everything together. <laughs> As you see here, we are drying the wings in an upwards position to give it a bit of uh, dry heat drill and make it more stable in the air. The stabilizer has just hardened, it's quite nice. Cut out the vertical stabilizer from this foam here and uh, we'll uh, Fiberglass it just like horizontal stabilizer. Then this will be put uh, like it. These stabilizers have just been finished, they are ready to be servo attached and it's time to make the ailerons on the big wings. Unfortunately uh, we can't place the ailerons uh, here on the tips because it's, we have uh, made it with this curved shape and that will be quite uh, com com dihedral, yeah. it will be quite complex to build them there so we, we choose to make them here.
So we decided to make a camera too, to put a free camera, so we're going to mount this free camera. Hey, look, this is the big Zorro uh, here, but uh, in place. So uh, let's tremble. This, we are done with the first part. Uh, so fuselage has been painted and the uh, uh, crossing here is done. Uh, wings are almost done. We have made a part for the servos. Yeah. For the servos. It'll uh, hold for the cables. And uh, yeah, uh, the thing is we are waiting for the motor and two other parts. So we can't really finish it right now. Uh, and uh, therefore we will uh, uh, come back in a future video where we'll, we will do some flying as well. Yes.